नंबर वन अबाउट द रिसेंटली डिसीजन बाय द एजुकेशन अथॉरिटीज इन द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टू एक्सक्लूसिवली मैंडेट द यूज ऑफ एजुकेशन मटीरियल प्रोवाइडेड बाय द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बोर्ड ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन हैज पार्कड कंसर्न अमंग द स्टेक होल्डर्स इन्वेस्टेड इन द फ्यूचर ऑफ अवर चिल्ड्रन वाइल द ऑब्जेक्टिव मे बी टू स्टैंडाइज द एजुकेशनल कंटेंट इट एडवर्सली रिस्ट्रिक्ट द चॉइस एवेलेबल टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड पेरेंट्स potentially hindering the global aspiration of our youth and jeopardizing the principle of free and innovative education system as we all know that uh, nep 2020 is round the corner the new education policy nep 2020 and a transformative blueprint designed by the central government underscores the importance of skill based learning leveraging game based digital and communicative formats to facilitate holistic development but at the same time we mm. must think that the books which jammu and kashmir board of school education is trying to implement on the private schools are they in resonance this is the question which i leave to the audience are they in the resonance with the nep 2020 secondly do they cater the curriculum designed by the new education policy because the new education policy is treated to be a, a solution to all the problems that we are facing in the country especially the unemployment as we all know that jammu and kashmir is facing a huge crisis of unemployment and we are according to the statistics we are number 2 unemployed state after rajasthan so nep is uh, considered to be one of the solution point number third this decision also poses a significant threat to the quality of education employment opportunities and overall economic stability of the region the ripple effect will be felt not only by 200 private publishers 1000 representative of publishers 3200 booksellers but almost 10000 families who earn their bread and butter directly or indirectly by the implementation of this order their whole career and future will be at stake because on one hand we are trying to provide more and more employment more and more avenues more and more uh, resources for the employment and on the other hand we are uh, trying to ex more than 10000 families who are directly or indirectly involved in the uh, publication and all point number 4 in comparison with other union territories because there is always a comparison between the union territories in comparison with the other union territories like delhi chandigarh Um, uh, there are so much. There are. Uh, there is no such procedure because the private whatever the order has been implemented, it is only implemented in the UT of Jammu and Kashmir and not in the other UTs as well. And the private books are widely being used and prescribed by the private schools and the private publishers are growing day by day, because we all know that while we are using uh, prescribing these uh, published books, the authors which has a repute all across the country, all across the world. So every parent will love to have us to you know like to have the authors. and read their books for their kids as well point number 5 recognizing the financial consideration because when we talk about certain things then the financial consideration has to be there we emphasize <coughs> that the cost of the set of the books per year is well within the affordable limit translating to the mere 300 rupees uh, per month the investment in quality education is an investment in the future of our nation mm -hmm. and we should not compromise on the fundamental right to choose one's education path we all are having huge stock of books this is what publishers the main point about the publishers is that we have a huge stock of books which we have printed in this year only and by the implementation of this order it will go in vain and we will have no value also we have taken huge amount of loans because every every organization whenever as as far as publishers are concerned before you you know like proceed for the next session and all that you have to raise huge loans from the banks so that you can fulfill the orders and all other things we request the concerned authorities of jammu and kashmir board of school education and our honorable governor uh, uh, lg sahab shri manoj sinha ji that we should be given a time period of 2 to 3 years to liquidate our stock and to recover our outstanding from the market and also loans from the bank because it cannot be done overnight we need some time that's what we are requesting to the authorities that we should be given some time we have almost 3000 labor staff like salesmen accountants packers helpers who are earning their livelihood by the grace of this trade and once it get collapsed they will be jobless and they'll create a problem in our society at the same time the private schools also face various various problems in getting the nocs no objection certificates from various concerned departments and cases regarding their land records and lease deeds need to be reviewed e certificate takes months together while moving from pillar to post the moment a school gets a noc from one department that time the time period for another noc uh, you know like uh, passes and at the same time the person is only all the, the private school owner is only running from pillar to post to get one noc then another noc then another noc by the time he gets the third noc the first noc expires so this is the something mockery which has to be end as soon as possible the noc should be validated for not less than 5 years period and the linkage department should be instructed 
to ease the process of assurance of various certificates. Like recently, we have seen that that JK Tourism has done this practice. So JK Board can also follow the same practice as well. Also, the boards should not stop the fa facilities for want of NOCs as they directly affected the future of the students. Now, there is one more burning issue that has been the deregistration of 125 private schools, which is a very you know like hot issue nowadays. So we want to address that as well. At JK Welfare uh, Alliance has strongly expressed displeasure to the unilateral decision of the education department. We believe that this move has not given a death blow to the livelihood of around 2,300 families, but also brought great inconvenience to the thousands of students studying in these private schools because these students are really in a fix. They don't know what to do because their school has been derecognized at this point of time. We propose that a lenient view be taken in case of these schools and fresh lease shall be given to the schools on government land and the land belonging to the religious books uh, like Waqf Extra because there are a lot of, uh, you know, like people who have been associated with these schools. Somebody, a watcher, a watchman, a watcher of the school who has given his life to the school. Now his school has been derecognized, deregistered. Where should he go? Because he might be at the age of 50, 55, 60. Where will he go at this age? Where will he find this?